Okay, so you have the question then, what happens if we decide to differentiate a signal uh, that's noisy in, in something that just it just has a little bit of, uh, di um, of noise in it? Well, if it's perfectly smooth and you differentiate it, you're good. But even if it changes just a little bit, and, and see, this is still pretty good. Uh, when we differentiate that numerically, look at what we get. This is crazy. This is just, uh, it, it, it introduces a lot of error. And what we say is that it amplifies, uh, it amplifies the noise in a signal when we differentiate it. However, when we do integration, I mean, it's, theoretically the same problem exists with uh, integration that, that you might have error uh, when you have when you integrate uh, a noisy signal, you might introduce error, and there is a little bit of error. But actually, numerical integration tends to attenuate the error, or at least it doesn't make it worse. But numerical differentiation makes it much worse, and so this can be very problematic. And so, if you have a curve like this, what you should do is first you should do regression do regression on this signal because you can see this is this is a we could fit a quadratic to this for example and that would fit pretty well and then just then just after you've done the regression just um, just differentiate the quadratic uh, a similar case ar um, arises this is the original uh, original data that I showed you at the very beginning where we had uh, where we had this uh, this altitude um, and 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 the time, and we needed to differentiate that signal. When when I actually did the differentiation, you can see this is what I got. I got the blue signal. So that's really 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 noisy. Uh, what I ended up doing in this scenario is that I I did a I smoothed uh, I smoothed the differentiated signal, and and so I mean you could do that too, uh, but it's it's a better idea rather than just trying to post smooth the differentiated signal, it's better if you can fit um, fit a, a function uh, to the data over over a sequence. So for example, we could we could possibly um, divide this into chunks and then fit maybe a, a linear uh, function to this section and a linear function uh, to this section. And if you do that, then you're going to get a much smoother uh, signal. You'll get a much better differentiation. Uh, by using regression, and so then this this builds on the other methods that that we've that we've introduced. And again, I, I mentioned previously that I was going to uh, bring up something else that works for unequally spaced data. Well, if we do regression, that works for unequally spaced data. Uh, so um, that's that's the other method.